guys welcome back to my channel my name is Notilla. for those of you that are new here um i sit here every wednesday and not every wednesday but some wednesdays um and i do my makeup and talk about the history of black excellence today we'll be celebrating marie van britten brown who is the first video system video home security system inventor if you want to see more please stay tuned okay so guys i don't promise that my makeup is gonna look good but yeah let's hope for the best so who is marie van britten brown she is an african-american inventor her innovation contributed to a safer security to a safer society not security to a safer society her invention was the first closed TV, uh, closed circuit television security system. And it has paved the way for how the modern, the modern, <laughs> the modern security, the modern home security system has is set up. So she was born on the 30th of October, 1922. She was a nurse. So she was a nurse and she was a nurse and an innovator. In the year 1966, she invented the first video home security system alongside her husband, um, Albert Brown, right? Who was an electronics technician. So some sources say he's an electronics technician. Some sources say he's an electrician. So really i don't know which one is which so i'm just gonna interchange that and yeah so in the very same year they applied for a patent for their innovation for their innovation which was granted in the year 1969 only three years later so not much is said about mr brown and his upbringing so we only know about marie so Marie was born in Jamaica, Queens, New York. Oopsie. She was born in Jamaica, Queens, New York, and she did not have any siblings. And she also she also stayed in New York and she worked there. Her and her husband also stayed in New York and they also worked there. So yeah. Marie's father and mother, or Marie's father is from Massachusetts and her mom is from Pennsylvania, right? And they were both African American. They were both African American. And um, it is said that um, her mother, her father, and her grandmother all, all had the nickname Didi. So, <clears throat> yeah, I said it, I mentioned it earlier that she's a nurse, so she worked as a nurse. That was her daily routine or work. And so she and her husband did not work normal nine to five hours or like simultaneously work. So her husband would be working in the morning and she'd be at home. And if she's at work, her husband. If she's at work, the husband is at home and vice versa. So um, Marie and her husband, Albert, they had two children and their daughter, one of their, not, not one of their daughters, her daughter followed in her mother's footsteps and she became a nurse and an, in, an innovator, an inventor. Really, I, yeah, now that I think about it, I should have looked up what she invented, but I'm pretty sure I'll be making another video about her. But sadly, uh, at the age of 76, Marie passed on on the 2nd of December, 19, not the 2nd of December, the 2nd of February, 1999. She was only 76 years old. She was only 76 years old at the time. So what inspired the home security system is the prolonged length of time it took the police to respond or to get to Brown's area when contacted or 
in concept tips. So Brown invented the home security system. The first home video security system for safety. And her work, because of her work hours, she did not have the standard 9 to 5. As I've mentioned earlier, she did not have the standard 9 to 5 hours. So, and also the crime rate in her area, it was very high. The crime rate in her area was very high. So she had to find or look for a we had to look for a way to increase her to increase her sec personal security even in a case of an emergency when the police were contacted they'd still take very long to respond so so brown had to find a way to protect herself her family you know and yeah, so that's what inspired this. This is what inspired this system. She needed to create a system that she would know who was outside of her door. And also, oh, so sorry about that. Struggle to talk and do my eyeshadow at the same time. But I'm going to try. So she needed to create a system that would allow her to know who was at the home to know who was at her home and to contact the relevant parties or authorities in a case in a case of an emergency or a break in or you know yeah um at the time brown was only 40 years old and she had spent many nights without her husband she had spent many nights without her husband due to their irregular work hours so how the security how the system worked was that it had three peepholes um so wait before that so this was a two-way communication system um together with the surveillance feature right surveillance meaning they able to see you yeah that's what i mean so yeah it was a two-way communication system and it so this invention had three peepholes so for tall people for tall people average height people and children right yeah so the system had three peepholes and uh, for for the person obviously to see what's going on outside and yeah to see what is going on outside Ugh, i did not pack all my brushes I did not put all my brushes close to me so yeah so uh oh yeah tall 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 average height and children so yeah that's how the system worked and also there was a camera right there was a camera so there was this guys you know what let me stop doing this so the next step was setting up the camera setting up the camera and adjust the peephole to allow the people in the house to see who was outside and um to see what was going on outside marie wanted to find so also Marie wanted to find a way to view who was outside from from any room in the house. So this had to be done using the radio controlled the radio controlled uh, wireless. So, oh, guys. so Marie wanted to find a way to view who was outside from any room and decided to use a wireless television system. So it worked best in this case because to do this she used a radio controlled wireless system that could stream the video from anywhere in the house right which made it easier for everyone to know who was at the door if it was robbers or if it was a friend you know 
so it made it easy for the people in the house to know who was at the door and then oh sorry about that and then she had to create also a microphone for for the two-way communication so that if there's a person at the door they they would um be able to talk to them and ask them who they are if it's in, in a case where it's someone they don't know you know or it's yeah i mean delivery in a case of a delivery you know then you would ask who's at the door and what they want who they want so that's how it worked and i so also I mentioned that in 1966 they also applied for the patent for their invention which was granted three years later by the government on, on December the 2nd, 1969. So on the patent it had Marie's name and then her husband's name. Um, four days later, only four days later, when... The patent was granted. Marie and her husband made headlines. You know. About that invention. They made headlines. Headlines. So how did people respond to this system? So the response was not really great. Because um, it was very difficult to sell the system to homeowners. Only because um, it was very expensive. The implementation was very high, you know. So Brown initially created this system for her, for her home, thinking that um, it would spark some, that it would spark some, some interest in other home buyers, you know, other homeowners, and also that this system had a remote. To open to open to open the door remotely from anywhere you know but anyway the system was very ahead of its time because this was in 1966 so this innovation was very ahead of its time so I'm so sorry if I keep quiet here and there I'm trying to do this I'm trying to do my makeup and talk at the same time so Brown knew this would only help would only help them so brown knew if knew that if he she's able to see whoever is it is it um whoever it is not is it but so brown knew that if she could see whoever it was at the door from any room in the house even if it's like upstairs or in the bedroom you know it would be easy for her to use the remote and open the door right so that's why the the remote was created was made and also he knew that the system would not increase the response time the police response time so she also made a system that so in this system, uh, a button, obviously, I know everyone knows how it works, you know, how the home security system is, how the home security system works. But at this time, Brown was just inventing this, thinking about the easiest way to contact the police and all of that. So she invented, she also added a button that would send a message to the authorities in a case of an emergency or in a case of an emergency or the police are needed you know or a break in or you are at the get the doctor's office and there's like a junkie or a, a drug addict you know they're trying to steal medicine it, it would be easier for the doctor to just press the button and a message would alert the authorities that Okay, something is happening at this building, you know? So it was really this invention was ahead of its time again, I'm going to say that. Because it was still 1966 and technology at the time, it was not that advanced. 
So for Brown to come to think of that idea was genius of her, to be honest. So, okay, apparently this one, other people had invented it, so she had to cite them. Yeah. She had to cite those people in her plan. So, yeah, the response for this was not really great, but as the years went by, people started using this system, and um, apparently till, till this very day, people use it that because a home security system is expensive and also I think Brown's uh, thingy is quite cheap now compared to when it was first made because they were like like there's now competition other people doing this you know so I'll say it's quite easy not quite easy that's why more people are using the old system so yeah people are using the old system uh, so although the, the system was originally intended for domestic uses many businesses began to adopt brown system given its efficiency Brown was recognized as was recognized, recognized, recognized. So who again, guys? But yeah, she was recognized as she was she was recognized for her invention, and received an award from the National Science Committee, making her officially making her part of the elite African American in uh, African American inventors and scientists. Brown was quoted in the New York Times. Brown was quoted in the New York Times saying that her invention, her invention, saying that with her invention, a woman alone, a woman alone could, could set off an alarm, immediately alerting, immediate, immediately by pressing a button that would alert the authorities. So like I said, or in a case where yeah, at your workplace, yeah, doctor, and there's a junkie, you know, you can just press the button, and the police know, would know, that's okay, something's up at that doctor, so yeah, that's how it worked, uh, <laughs> so the invention was the first, well, as I, I stated this again, but I'll, I'll insert an image showing what I mean when I say a first look. This is for people who don't know, obviously. There are people who know, who, are, who know what a closed circuit is and an open circuit is. So yeah, this is for people who don't know. I would also insert the, the image of the first home security system. So yeah, so the invention was the first closed TV security system. And is the predecessor to common mod to not common to modern home security systems that we know of today. It was the foundation of the video, the video monitoring, remote controlled doors, and push button push alarm buttons or push button that triggers alarms, you know, and instant messaging. Guys, can you imagine how long instant messaging has been around for? I mean, to be honest, I didn't know that at that time there was instant messaging. It's good to know. Good to know. So, yeah, instant messaging. Instant messaging, police, uh, messaging to security providers and police as well. The two-way vo two voice communication Brown's invention has led the way has led to the creation of many new home security systems that rely on video that rely on video systems remote to lock doors and quick emergency response actions these systems have become the leading security uh, have come the leading home security 
security for homes and small businesses all over the world. The fame of Brown's device also led to the more, pre the more prevalent CCTV surveillance in public areas. Okay, just need to do my nose contour. Right control, north control, north control. So, yeah, man. Let me do my, put on my eyelashes and then I'll be talking about, then I'll talk about the legacy that Brown and her husband left so okay guys so this is a demonstration of how the system looked um of the doors the peepholes and the video cameras in the house so the effects the legacy brown's legacy so yes so pretty Just need to do this, this one, and then I'll talk about the legacy just now. So the effects uh, of bronze home security systems cannot be conditional. As her, has, as her initial invention was the foundation of most of the home security systems that are around today. She was recognized as, she was recognized in, in the New York New York in the New York Times and received an award from the National Sciences Scientists Committee for her work. As more home security systems came to the market, Brown's initial invention, um, however, became even more influential. Not however, became more influential. Her invention was cited at least thirty in at least thirty two future patent applications. Unfortunately, her successful patent application in 1969, um, the media coverage of her product ceased. The home security business is expected to be at is expected to be at least 1.5 billion. That's a lot. It's expected to be 1.5 billion U.S. dollars. Not. Okay, I'm from South Africa, guys. So dollars is a lot and it is expected to triple by the year 2024 so yeah guys um this was an episode about a black female inventor i hope you guys enjoyed it and yeah give it a thumbs up and stay tuned for more videos about the history of black excellence my channel is i started this channel because i wanted to shine some light on um the history of black excellence because mainly because uh growing up i was not taught about these people and i think i would it would have been nice to know that um black people are doing great things Look at me, I even forgot to <laughs> do my lips. So yeah, you know, for me, it's amazing. Now that I'm old and I can research and find things, I thought, let me talk about this, you know, so that the youth can know. I don't know how you people do this. Talk into your lip liner. Okay, give me a second. So yeah, talk. So next week, stay tuned, next week I'll be talking about another black person, another black leader, or I'll be talking about another black man that has made history. And these things are not taught at school. So really it would, be, it would be nice for schools to start teaching kids about our own people, you know. I mean, it's nice to know about World War Three, but it also would be nice to know 
that the first home security system was created by a black woman, you know, and just, 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 it would have been nice. So, yeah, that's it from me, guys. Um, yeah, that's it. Um, thank you for staying. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching. I will see you guys next time. This is your girl, Noctilla. Bye.